Alex James is here. Woo! You're right there, Al. I've got to say, the that vibe in here, I mean, we're, we're all singing along there. That yeah, was we good. were. That was good. Alex, how are you? I haven't seen you since you, well, your look, first... Well, there's a lot of people out there, baby. There's, there's a lot are of people gonna be, We're going to be all right, I think. We're how many do you think? 85, 90? It's hard to tell, isn't it? I mean, you're used to playing in front of big crowds like this. Yeah, it's a big crowd, though. Um, but I, th I, this is, I mean, f do you know what? Back in the day, like when, when Country House went to number one, yeah. we did a two-week tour of end of pier theatres. Yeah. Like tiny little 200 capacity. Yeah. We never really did big. We did festivals, but back in the day, we didn't really do big. How long did you, you play? How long did you played? The, we did. We played here in 2009. They're best okay. gigs we've ever done, without yeah. doubt. And I, if it hadn't have been for the trigger of the Olympics, yeah. um, you know, because we were asked to, to do this show yeah. to sort of basically f finish it off. We've got one from the um, north, one from the Midlands, one from London. Um, and, and, and we thought we can't say no to that, really. Yeah. And it, was, it felt like an honour at the time, but the way that it's all sort of gone the last couple of weeks, I yeah. mean... It's now been it's brilliant, hasn't it? Oh, it's just the... Do you, do you hang on, hang on, Alex, we've got to pile through this. I've got so many things I want to ask you. Firstly, could this be the last time Blur ever play? If we're rubbish tonight, definitely. <laughs> OK, nice, nice. <laughs> so, no. Um, yeah. Secondly, have you enjoyed the Olympics? Oh, man, I mean, who was there anybody who wasn't on their feet when Mo Farah oh, yeah. rocked home yesterday? It's I mean, unbelievable. What, the, what a statesman. I mean, it just, it just amazing. I just love the way that it's kind of, we've embraced the pursuit of excellence. There's a purity about it. Yeah. The, you know, it's people not doing things for money. It's just a... Just a well, no, a few of them are quite cashed it, up, actually. It, I, I was going about this, and then suddenly I start reading the papers how a guy strolled out of a nightclub, he's now drinking a £2,000 cocktail with diamonds in it. Yeah, but there's always idiots. There's always. always idiots, mate. You're exactly. absolutely right. You're, you're always going to get. You're talking. always going to get your idiot, John. <laughs> um, well, you know, I think he deserves it. Yeah. Really. You know, and that that picture of, of, of Usain Bolt with the with the Swedish women's uh, netball team. He deserves yes, that that's too. That's the en enduring image of the summer. For it me, really, really is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's the new rock stars. Do, do, do you think? I think it's had. Um, it's had such a, 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 an enriching effect on London, I think. I, I think before it, all the gripers, put it this way, must now be really in denial. No, no I didn't say it was going to be bad. <laughs> what I was saying was I was just worried about the show. No, no. And they're going, what do you mean? You were right against it. And they're going, no, no, I wasn't against it. You were. You know, well, we were in Sweden the day before yesterday yeah. uh, where there was no Olympics going on. And it was yeah. just like, it was like, where is it? It yeah. was like something that you... you it was it's incomplete. It's an incomplete yeah. country. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. No. Yeah, you love it. Like, but we had the, uh, about the specials on before. We were in Tokyo two days ago. Yeah. I know, it's great. Yeah, Alex, I, know, I, know. I was in Sweden two days ago. I know, has anyone been here? <laughs> yes, no, no, we, so we've, obviously we've missed the whole thing yeah. because uh, we've, been, we've been warming well, up. What's the it like over there, though? What, in like, what's the vibe like over there in, in Sweden? Sweden? No, I mean, it's, it, you, it, you come to London and the whole of the UK, you can feel it. It's, it's, it's a fever pitch, but, you know, other places, it's not, it's not quite the same. I mean, but we've, we've been, you know, we got a telegram passed on stage when Bolt was. A, a well, telegram? Yes. Well, you know, it was well, what the you, only way you really old school. You can't have a phone on stage, can't you? So it's like a little piece of paper saying Bolt smashed it in the yeah. hundred. Telegram Did you announce James. it? Did you announce it? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Damon's, Damon's, so Damon said to the crowd, you know, <laughs> yeah. so he's they were announcing that on the tube. I was well, on the tube the other day, really? and it said, yeah, Usain Bolt has won the 200 metres in, uh, well, he's beaten Johan Blake, but it wasn't world record, but, you know, well done, that's his uh, second goal. Uh, after, after you got the telegram, when you got on stage, did you telex your congratulations? <laughs> 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 All right, so, sorry, weak joke. We're now going to have a tune, and then we're going to come back. I hope, Alex, you can, you can hang around for a bit. Yeah, this is the best seat in the house, man. It really it's amazing. is, it? it? really is. Do you know what? Oh, could you just keep saying stuff like that? <laughs> the <laughs> best seat in the house on Absolute Radio. <laughs> Uh, let's have a tune. This is The Who, My Generation, which always makes me laugh uh, when they sing it now. Uh, Roger Daltrey sings, Hope I Die Before I Get Old, because he sort of failed in his mission. <laughs> Hit it. Hey, ja yeah. hey Jamesy. Um, ja is it Jamesy? James O? What Jimmy. You like, baby? Jimmy, I don't really mind, mate. Just call me whatever, <laughs> call me whatever you want, mate. Where I don't, don't really feel good. I don't even owls. know who I am sometimes. Uh, don't owls. call me matey -o. Now, you, you tweeted. I never get called James or Jamesy. Don't you? No. You were, on, you, were on, you were on stage and you actually tweeted that you, were, you got a bit emotional there. You cried during uh, your sound check. I did. Did you? Yeah, I just, it was like, you know, like a, a little bit of wee coming You're out. You're like the perfect guy. <laughs> That's the perfect guy that <laughs> gets you emotional. Laugh. You know when you laugh. And yeah, you yeah. Know. Uh, As you was, get older, yeah, it's, uh, but it was just like one of it was one of I just welled up and I went, you know, just a little bit. Are you saying you had a little wee wee? No, I had it from the eyes. Oh, right. an eye I, thought, I thought you meant I thought you meant you got so excited you had a little wee wee. Well, uh, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you meant. Thought, no, but wow. it was just like I, I well, just, that's I, getting I just old. Like I was, I was, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to like remember what All bit right. came next, and and, and I just, I was just knocked over by it. Just old rock is getting semi incultured. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, um, anyway, tell, tell me what's been your standout Olympic moment. That's what I want to know about. Uh, well, Mo Farah romping home yesterday. That was, that, I mean, that was, yeah. that was amazing. But I, I like those three girls on bicycles. You know, the ones who kept breaking their yes. own records. Yes. Oh, my God. What beauties. Just, yeah, that was, that was it for me. It was just amazing. Do you enjoy, do you enjoy paranoid cycling, the paranoid cycling? <laughs> <laughs> where that one guy goes slowly and he looks behind <laughs> and he's just there. Uh, we were talking about the other day, we were saying, it's about like when you're walking down the street, you think you're being followed. You think, I'll stop at a shop just here, I'll just pretend to look in the window and hopefully it'll overtake me. And they just move around the track, like really slow. I, I, I mean, it's it's something mental, isn't it, yeah, that it cycling? Good. It's totally Mad Max and yeah. ridiculous. I want people to start doing that on the streets of London, though, while they're cycling, <laughs> start slowing down, just get that paranoid vibe. <laughs> <laughs> the exit of all London cyclists started just getting a bit... Would you, have you been tempted to take has it influenced you at all to take up any, any sports have well you know we're quite a sporty band you know we're, you? we'd always we'd take anyone on at football definitely, definitely. Um, you're quite, you're quite, who, who's the best player would you say in the band well, Damon's quite tasty I've seen him in action yeah yeah you know, yeah, yeah Damon's got lots of energy you know, yeah. yeah he's there he's, he's everywhere he's got a good engine he's got yeah, good engine yeah yeah Roundtree and goal obviously yeah. and me and Coxon somewhere in the middle is fitness ever a problem for you? Yeah, Terry Hall had a trial for um, he had a trial for Coventry I think. yeah he did he was, yeah, like, he he was did. Like, he's seriously good wasn't Probably. it great seeing him yeah, yeah, he's lovely, isn't he? Uh, do you, have you met him before? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean we, you know, th this is an amazing evening because you know they're, they're our favourite bands. That yeah, are playing, playing with us. So, yeah, because so, um, uh, for me, meeting Terry Hall, because he was uh, a real hero of mine when I was a kid, and he was one of those enigmatic people that never got interviewed. And if he did, he always had that couldn't give a damnness about him. Uh, so we just had him on the show, and it really was a, it was a, it was a real treat. I think people have forgotten the sort yeah. of time. And, the and the fact he did do Ghost Town, he actually did. Do an anthem for a, for a generation, and also the beat were on, and they did. Uh, and it's, it was they didn't do anything rubbish. Though. No, they, they, both o those albums were just like everyone's a winner. It's brilliant. Yeah, just also anyway, great lineup we got tonight. Okay, this is Absolute Radio. It is six o'clock. I've got to say goodbye to you. Al. Have you? I've got to well, say goodbye. Well, no, you, you, you can hang around for longer if you okay. like. Well, yeah, no, great. Do you want to do another link? I mean, otherwise you'll only be getting nervous yeah, yeah, backstage yeah, 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 and crying. Yeah, 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 I've got a question yeah. to ask you. Yeah. At the now or later? No, go on, go on, oh, do it go now. On. Go on. Okay, do it you're now. collaborating with Jamie Oliver, who I love for a, a festival called the Big Feast. Of oh it. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Jamie we. did that last year in London. He was looking for somewhere to do it in in the countryside. So I persuaded him to do it on, on the farm where I live in in Oxfordshire. Um, music and food being my two great loves. Um, yeah, so that's uh, a great idea. the Big Festival. It's uh, I it's did perfect. that last. Year. I did that. Did you? I, yeah, you I, did was his, I was his demonstrator cook. Well, you come, you've got to come again. I love it. Was one of the, it was one of the best afternoons I had. I was like the guy he was teaching on stage. And it, it really went down well. There was loads of bands. There was loads of great food. It was really good. Well, no, I mean, I, you know, I think when Blur started doing festivals, there were there was only two of them, and, and nobody really knew how, how what it was or how it yeah. worked. But there's so many of them now that you can add a sort of extra layer of sophistication and have like great food. So it's you know great music and amazing food, chefs and Peppa Pig. I think <laughs> you're Peppa Pig. Yeah, like you're Peppa Pig. That'd be good. And then she's going to get uh, no, yeah <coughs> turned into sausages. Um, Alex, hang around for a bit. We'd love we'd love to uh, talk to you more. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. If I won't let me go anywhere. I know it's because look, you're, you're either interviewed here or, or just cry backstage. <laughs> Pace right, around. Okay, let's have some ads <laughs> we have the news. Welcome back to Hyde Park on the final day of the Olympics. I'm happy because I'm doing a show. We've got Alex James here, right, Al? Come on. Are you telling me it's not full yet? It is there a million people over there. There's a million. That's a great There should be 250,000. Uh, can I just say, though, Alex, Alex James, I'll be talking to you again in a second. Don't get nervous when you're on stage. <laughs> because this, I've been on stage three times out there with twice that many people there gigging. And uh, <laughs> I was interested in your mind. No, wait a second. A and um, it's so many people. It's it's um, it's intimate, but you, it's not like it's not like doing a speech at a wedding. No, it's, uh, it's uh, actually it's strange when the crowd's this big. All you got to do yeah, is yeah, bang yeah. a bass drum, yeah. and they go crazy. Yeah, Just you, like, they won't notice anything. It's simple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, don't worry, they won't notice you. <laughs> they won't even be looking. They'll be looking. They'll be looking at the foot-long hot dogs. Take your camera out there. Make sure you do take a, a yeah, photo. Yeah, take a shot. It's quite Tweet a, it. I mean, it's an amazing view from here. It's beautiful, amazing. isn't it? This well, is, in this the, is uh, the best seat in the house. Well, this is uh, the Expo. To, what, what's it called? It's the giant Expo 2 collapsible porter cabin. It's pimped a pimped up, up porter cabin. It is the giant Expo 2. You've got a giant Expo 2, you tell people. Um, Great Britain's got 64 medals, 29 gold, 16 silver, and 19, sorry, 18 silver, 19 bronze. We are third in the medal table, which I think makes us a very robust... Very strong. We've just got so used to losing, though. I know, we I always know, get I know. involved with the football, and then every time we look, we're just like this winning thing. I know, I it's like unbelievable. It. I like it. What an admirable nation. What are you going to do after what the What a Olympics? glorious. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to discuss that in a second. Right now, though, orchestral maneuvers in the dark. Enola Gay. You should have stayed at home yesterday. Oh. OMG.
<laughs> can't believe you knew all the words to the third verse. <laughs> we were know, feeling I mean, it there. <laughs> you, you are really feeling it. And we started to dance, and it's on film, and it, I forgot, and it could be regrettable. I was doing my Jean-Michel Jarre keyboard <laughs> strut. You know that rather impotent dance they do behind <laughs> keyboards, where they just sort of keep the legs all stiff. The chicken and, dance. Yeah, they just look dreadful. But Alex, uh, moving like a good in there. Well, yeah, that's good. It's, it's good warm-up. Warm it's good warm-up. You know, the, you know, the tragic thing is, when you get to, uh, to my age, you do find the only time you dance is at weddings, I ironically. <laughs> you'll sort of think, yeah, I'll have a bit of an ironic dance, I don't mind doing that. <laughs> and you'll find yourself doing the Saturday Night Fever, that's all you'll do. Ironic dancing. Alex James is our guest. <laughs> when you get back together with the lads, with Blur, what's it kind of like? You all, you all do, how's it arranged and is it, is it difficult when you all get back together? Well, you, you know, I really, you know, as I said, I, if, if it hadn't been for getting the shout to do this today, yeah. uh, I, it may never have happened because it was, it was so great when we reformed last time and yeah. I like, do leave it there as the last thing, you know, yeah. you don't want to mess it up. Um, yeah. But th th I, I'm so I'm so glad we're doing it. It, it, it. it is a little bit. It's a little bit like getting back in the water. Uh, you know, after you know. Or after you nearly drowned. The normal analogy is getting back in the car after a crash. Oh no. Um, gotcha. Well, yes, it's, it's, you know, I think because music's such an intimate thing to do yeah. with, but because we all play like absolutely flat out and yeah. like, get lost in it completely. Yeah. So it is. There's there, but but actually, you know, as soon as we start playing the old songs, it just it's a way we didn't really. It just all clicks back together. Okay, so, away. so when you're on stage, there's no problem. I just wonder, uh, and when I first met you, it was your first TV appearance, actually. Well, your first <laughs> time you played live, which is on, on a music show I used to do called Naked City. But you're going back about 20 years. Uh, were you and naked? <laughs> no, that no one was naked. I wore black tie for it, because I thought that's what you do for snooker and late night <laughs> entertainment. Uh, but you're all obviously real mates back then, and, and you're, you're all coming together. I know you're probably still friends, but... It's more like, it's not, more like what, what I'm saying is you're not on the road together all the time. Like I saw you in that dressing room, all sharing one dressing room, having a right old laugh and enjoying it. Now you've got a farm. Damon's probably owns most of London. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the lads. Are, so what's it like when you get back together? Because you're like family, aren't you? Yeah, that, it's very that, much. It can like be uneasy. A, it's very much like a sibling relationship. You know, I know I annoy them. I'm yep. not sure why, and I don't mean to. <laughs> but um, I'm like but that. actually, actually, it's been so joyous. It's you know because it's been a short period of time. It's just a couple of weeks. Yeah, and we get so much from playing those songs because we just don't play them very often. Why do you annoy them? Because I get this with well, my mates. Oh, I thought I get that with you. Like no, me, you, you, no, me annoying you. Yeah, well, no, you don't annoy me at all. I think oh, you're great, darling. Tiffany. Thank you. Do you, do you know what it is? I think why people like us annoy people because because they're jealous. <laughs> That's it. No, but you've got no idea. You know, you don't know why you. So you, some people find you annoying and some people find you charming. We go yeah. through ourselves, our yeah, yeah. blissfully unaware of what what it is about ourselves that annoys people. Who cares? Do you get that thing? Because you're an enthusiast, uh, and, and I wonder <laughs> if you get this thing that a lot of enthusiasts get. I get this, where. I'm quite enthusiastic, and then when I go home, I, I think, oh, God, what did I do? I find myself really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm, like an much I've had I'm like an enthusiastic cynic. You know, if I do an interview or something, I, I sort of go, oh, what did I say? Do that for do you, do you? Do you get? Yeah, yeah. That? No, I am very sort of like I, you know. I, I, I'm, I, I sort of got better at slowing myself down, but yeah. I am sort of. I'm a, I am very gung ho. Yeah. Sort of and, and worry about it later. But at least but, you know. Better you to regret what you've done than what you haven't. But at least you give me exactly. Well, okay. I'm not, I, no, I'm not so sure about that. Actually, I'm not so sure. I've, I've got things I really <laughs> regret, and if I could turn back the clock, I'd say no, no, definitely not. I know Jack Lemon says to regret. It's better to regret having done something than not yes. having done something. But you know, I really think disagree. Yeah, but we'll take a tour around Brit British prisons, and you ask those lads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, you're all a bonded unit now, as you well go yeah, out. I there. mean, it's yeah, it's it's been you know, we've just uh, we've just like, literally like four or five gigs. It's total at hand, we're, but we're, it's absolutely we're, we're ready. We're, yeah, we are ready. born ready. They're ready for you. What, well, you, uh, what are you opening with? Ah, Alex James, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you here. Uh, best of luck yeah. with, uh, with the game. I know it's been great. I'm looking, I'm looking forward so much to going out there and seeing it. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Tiffany. Cheers, Alex. Well done, Alex.